Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm in War Thunder. Except this is the event that I've been waiting for. This is the game mode that I wish Realistic was. This is a realistic game battle mode where you can see your tank, and your friendly tanks have tags. They have the stuff above their tank. But the enemy tanks, they don't get auto-spotted. There is They don't appear on the minimap. They just are out there and you've got to track them and find them yourself. You've got to use your own brain and your own eyes. It's very similar to the simulator mode they just um, did a, an event test with, except that you have friendly tags in this one and you can see your tank. This is exactly what I would like realistic mode to be. And I did a forum post about it on the Gaijin forums on the event part of their forum page. And this is just exactly, 100% exactly what I always wished realistic was. So what I'm doing now is I'm just driving around pretty slow. I'm one of the faster tanks, so I tried. To, I always try and get in and, and take points if I can. If I'm in a fast tank, I usually start out in a fast tank and then I revert to a, a heavier tank when I need to go in and have the firepower to clear out stuff that I can't kill in one hit. Because the Panzer 3M, this is what this tank is right here. It's a pretty strong tank, I like it, but it doesn't take too many hits from a T-34-85 before it goes down. Or a KV-85. It doesn't really like getting hit by 85mm guns very much. So I'm rolling to the cap, and I've been scanning around, I haven't seen anything yet. But uh, I was in a game with my T-34 that I'll be showing later where I was just, just I don't know, I was probably like 1.4 kilometers away. And I could see the enemy tanks just rolling through the forest. I tried taking a couple shots at them, but I, I was really way off. But just the fact that I spotted them and I could see them, there was no auto-spotting mechanism to do that. It just makes this mode a whole lot more immersive. Okay, so we've capped out C, and I'm going to leave my Tiger friend, and I'm going to start heading over to see if I can assist with some of the other caps. So I'm stopping, and I'm scanning just to see if there's anything I can see through there. I always check in my corners and stuff. This is It's just a lot more cautious gameplay, and it's more fun. And now I'm zooming in, seeing if I see any movement, and I see movement, so I fire. <laughs> and I hit him, and it bounces off the bottom of his turret into some of his observation devices or something. So I shoot him again, but it bounces on the side. And I didn't think I had a shot here, but I ended up hitting him again, but it bounced off the front. He was fairly heavily angled, and I couldn't really kill him. So I just pull back, and I'm thinking maybe he's going to pull forward, maybe he's not. So I just keep scanning, and then a T-34 drives right in front of me, so I blast him. And uh, hits him in, like, looks like the fuel tanks or something in the side of the tank. But I don't want to pull around broadside in front of him. And then I see his, his friend coming around again. And I'm going to stop, take a shot at him. But, again, doesn't kill him. Just does a little bit of damage to him. So, what I'm doing now is I'm just... I'm not really too keen on pulling around because I don't really want to get shot. So, I'm waiting... And then you'll see to my front that one of my tigers is going to drive around the uh, the building to the left. And he's going to start putting some fire into this guy. So I'm going to pull around. I'm going to take a quick snapshot at him. And I didn't quite get him in where I wanted to. And he ended up hitting me and he wounded my gunner. But now I've got friends and they're, they're putting fire into him. And that was pretty much the end of his day. So that ended up being really good, but then, this guy doesn't notice me, I just start scanning around and I've spotted him. So this is more like, honestly, like real life. Like, he didn't look around, he isn't scanning properly, he's probably relying on just what everyone else used to rely on with realistic, you had someone auto-spotting, auto-spotting. So I've hit him twice, twice in the ammo rack, and I think I've damaged his ability to fire and shoot. So I've hit him about three times now, and it's not going to look good for him anymore, and he's done. So I've taken out, I think that was a 76mm Sherman. But unfortunately for me, before I can turn and get my gun to bear on this T-3045, he hits me and he knocks out my turret and my gun, and there wasn't really too much I could do at this point. I couldn't shoot back at him, so I just drop artillery on my own position, and I just really just didn't want to get shot by him at this point but I couldn't maneuver fast enough to get away from him because I'd taken damage a little bit at this point point. and that was one of the ranging shots from artillery and 
this is gonna be the end of me. <laughs> so yeah, that was actually a, a KV-85, not a T-34-85. So I've jumped around in my Tiger and just trying to figure out my ranging with the Tiger. I haven't driven it in realistic for a while. So first shot, way too low. Not a very good shot. So I'm gonna stop again, almost reloaded. I'm gonna aim a little bit higher this time. And boom, punch right through, blow him apart, take him down. So that was pretty sweet. And then we've got a Panzer 3M heading off to the right. It looks like he spotted something. Something is moving around over into the forest to the right. And that was an airplane trying to crash into me. <laughs> so even realistic, there's uh, there's Kamikaze retard pilots. So you got to look out for that. And again, just driving around, trying to scan, trying to pick up targets. And the, the, the more you move, the, the more you get spotted. But at the same time, if you're a moving target, you're a harder target to hit. If you get spotted and you're a stationary target, you're a lot easier to, to get taken out. So it's kind of a catch-22. If you've watched any of Side Strace gameplay on this stuff, he's a he's very different player to me. He's a little bit more static. I move a little bit more. But uh, he, he likes to kind of overwatch a lot more. So that's his playstyle is kind of more like a, a tiger types types playstyle, whereas my my playstyle is a little bit more Panzer 3M. I like to move. I like to try and cap spots. So if you want to see some stuff that's more similar to this, he's got some stuff on his channel about that. So it's also pretty cool. But he likes playing sim mode. I'd rather have this mode. I love seeing him seeing my own tank. I would much rather have this realistic mode. Is just hands down the best thing that's ever happened to War Thunder and I really 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 hope and pray that this somehow makes it in to to replace the existing realistic mode so we've capped this spot out we've retaken it and I'm gonna crash through this wall and I'm gonna try and support my Panzer 3 as we we push along through the to the church here moving up and didn't he didn't really check his corners, so I'm gonna kind of creep around, peek, and don't see anything, so I'm good to go. But I am gonna try and maneuver my turret over to the right a little bit. And I can see there's a big church here, and I'm gonna use that as cover. And again, I'm just kind of scanning around, seeing if I spot anything. I'm trying to get my gun sort of being able to bear if I want to stop and then pivot and fire. But not too much to fire at right now. Again, just looking around. You really, really, really have to keep your eyes open. A lot of the times, the, the first time you see an enemy is because he's fired at you. Because <laughs> he spotted you first. And uh, when that happens, it's it's catch-22. Because you, you, you get hit. Like, there's a really good chance you might die. Because this is War Thunder. And if you don't die, then you have a chance to retaliate. If you have your gun facing the right way and you haven't had your cannon breach blown apart and your gun damaged. So my team didn't really need me at A, so I started turning around because someone had gone back and capped C. So right to my front, you'll probably see him before I will, but I'm going to point him out. He is right to my front, coming straight down the road. It's an ISC-152. I don't notice him until he fires and slams me right there. So I stop, and I'm like, great, my gun's broken, and I can't actually return fire. So I start reversing to try and get back around this corner and the tiger i don't the only thing i don't have in the tiger is the final engine and it's a little bit sluggish to maneuver around when you you don't have the engine because it picks up a lot better when you have the engine and stuff so i stop and i start repairing and we won't show the repairing cart because it's 40 seconds of nothing basically okay so what i'm doing now is i'm scanning and what i just saw is i saw an su-152 driving around behind me so i've got to try and get my turret around and it's turning it's turning it's turning it's turning really freaking slow i really need to speed up so i start maneuvering my tank over so i can at least get my gun to bear on this guy driving around behind me and just as he's i thought he was going to keep going so i pre-aimed him and i hit him and i bounce and i was like okay great i'm dead so i gotta try and turn gotta try and turn go forward go forward go forward go forward and he totally just blows his shot and I'm able to reverse and put a heavy shot right through the side of his gun hopefully trashing his gun 
So now I've got to try and meta what I think he's going to do. And I was really wishing our Panzer III was paying attention here because he just drives by all carefree. <laughs> doesn't know what's going on. And doesn't know there's an ISU 152 that was just right there. I think it was an SU or an ISU. I couldn't tell. But uh, I'm going to roll up and I'm going to come around the corner. And he's unfortunately waiting for me. And he hits me. Doesn't kill me, unfortunately, for him. And I put a shot into him, and that was enough to destroy him. So I got really lucky. Didn't die, and I actually ended up living through the rest of that game, and we ended up winning this game. So, wow. <laughs> that was really, really, really close. Didn't really... I don't really like getting close to the, the SUs, because they really... They take you apart, and they hammer you just to pieces. You die so fast when you get hit. And now we're jumping into the T-34-57. This one has a... T-34 has a 57mm gun. And it's punch... It's a really, really... It's got packs of punch, this gun. And I've driven around and I've scanned. And then I found uh, Panzer... Jag Panzer IV. Didn't know if it was an L-70 or just a regular 75mm L-48. But I put one into his engine, take him out. And he's on fire. Put another one into him. And that's it for him. He's destroyed. So I, I back in to the this, this side of this street just to get out of there. And now I've decided I'm going to try and go up north and flank into their cap. Because I got the mobility to do it. And I'm coming around. I look backwards to see if there's anything behind me. Now I'm looking forwards. And I can see our, our guy's there. And he's burning and he's on fire. And then I... And then I'm, what's that at the end of the street? And then I see a tiger fire in on me. So I stop put a shot out on him and I can't penetrate his front plate with I think I have like 115 pen but he was slightly angled so it didn't go through unfortunately so I, I type in chat tiger e5 because there's no I haven't really figured out how to mm, really tell my team where tanks are in this mode so I just kind of type it into chat I wish there was a way to ping the map properly so people actually had a general idea where he was without having to read E2 from the map but that's just kind of the way things work for now I know there is a way to mark a target but that I don't really know how that works and I haven't figured out where it is in the settings <laughs> because War Thunder's settings are very convoluted and hard to understand it's one of the things they could really do better that they don't do very well right now. So I drove around the corner and I thought I spotted the tiger again there so I stopped and took a shot at him and then I backed up and I'm gonna come around the corner and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep scanning. Is he there? Is he there? I don't see him. How does the tiger go? How does the tiger go dark? So I'm still looking around and I Gosh, it's a tiger, like, how could he have eluded me here? So I thought maybe he did he drive up, like, through the field? Where did he go? So I decide I'm going to go to the left, and I'm going to see if he's over here. Now, if I can get this tiger on his side, he's dead. Like, I'll be able to put two shots through the him before he'll even be able to return fire, and hopefully that'll be enough to kill him. But... I'm still looking around and I can't, I just can't visually pick him up. Like, I, he had tan camouflage, so he blended in kind of well to this scene. And again, looking left, don't see him driving into these little village houses here. Still don't see him. And then I kind of gave up and I was like, okay, maybe someone killed him and I didn't see in the, the, the chat window or whatever. So I'm still looking crashing through stuff and I decide okay we're getting capped I should probably head back and see if I can deal with who's trying to capture our base and that's when I run into a wall I should have edited that out <laughs> but you're gonna see my inept driving there's an outhouse look at that beautiful outhouse that is a Polish outhouse at its very best and wait for it now you're probably going to pick him up right there. You can see movement to that big tree, the right of that big tree. And I'm just scanning around, seeing if there's anything to my left, anything to my right. And the next thing you're going to see is that tiger firing from the right of that tree. And then, bam, hits me in the engine, knocks my engine out. And unfortunately, my gun depression over the back of the tank is fail. And I can't get my gun down. I just can't. So 
I do the only thing I can do is drop artillery on them. And that's one of the, the caveats of the new artillery system. In this mode, you, you can't see <laughs> the enemy tank because there's no blip. I don't know where I'm dropping my artillery, really. So I dropped artillery, but I burned to death and died. And now we're jumping into my KV-2. And we were doing an assault mission. And I, was, I found a, a flat panzer and I fired at him. But I completely... I think I hit the side of the bridge instead of hitting the Egg Panther, or not the Egg Panther, but the Flat Panzer. So unfortunately, didn't get the kill on him, and it, the KV-2 is an extremely, extremely hard tank for me to drive, because I've never actually driven in realistic, because the, the, the shell drop on this tank is significantly different than what it is on other tanks. And I tried firing at some Tigers that I saw at like 800 meters away, and I missed them all miserably. And I'm just scanning around now, but there's so many, there's actually like dead husks of tanks sitting around in this map. <laughs> so I'm looking around, I'm looking around. My team decided that they weren't really going to move too much. And the only other tank that was really trying to actively play properly was, uh, there was an American tank and he was driving out of the field and he was s telling people where he'd spotted people. So. I was able to kind of use some of the information that he was giving me in the chat to figure out where some of the bad guy tanks were. And really there was only one Tiger tank left on the enemy team. And he was somewhere in this city or he was near the cap. So I'm driving through the city and I'm just driving around and scanning every corner, seeing if he's just waiting in a side alley waiting to blow me to pieces. Because the Tiger can take out a KV-2 in one hit and I can take him out in one hit. So it's a tit for tat. and. It's going to be interesting to see who, who's able to win. So, if you see in chat, you can see his, a guy said Tiger next to A. And A is their, basically their base. And I, so I'm scanning around. I'm looking at the top of the hill. I'm looking to the right. I don't bloody see any Tiger on the hill. And then I see him shooting at something on top. So... I'm like, is the Tiger down here? What's he firing at? Because I couldn't necessarily see what he could see because he was in a higher vantage point than what our, where I was. But he was having fire coming in from where he was, and he whatever that tank was, he just got destroyed. He was in a truck, like an M13 truck. And those things are useless. You're not going to be able to pen a Tiger with that truck unless you're maybe behind him if you get lucky. And this is where I do pick up the Tiger. He's I can barely see the top of his turret there. And he doesn't seem to be scanning well enough, or he doesn't pick me up. So I am going to try and creep up enough that I can shoot him. And I've got a Sherman tank coming in on my left. It looked like a jumbo, I think. And he looked like he was going to concentrate on him when he probably should have backed up and concentrated on me. So I'm going to fire into him, hammered a 152mm shell through the side of his turret, absolutely just crippled a whole bunch of stuff in his tank, got some critical damage on him, and now it's just a matter of me reloading because I think I busted his turret to pieces, just like crumbled it. And now I'm just gonna pull up, gonna pull up, and I've got the gun depression to hit him, so I'm gonna wait. And you can see his gun twitching, he's not having a very good day. He's about to have the end of his day, so I'm gonna absolutely pile drive this guy now. And he does manage to get his turret repaired enough for me to be able to pound a shot into the side of his turret, and that was it. So he was done, and this is this is War Thunder at its very best. This is how I wish War Thunder was all the time. This is how realistic should be in my eyes, and I really hope that you guys all feel the same way. This is it's just so much more exciting to not have the the mini map there, and uh, that kind of. I don't know, I would have to say it's just a, the way a lot of modern games are now, like Battlefield and Call of Duty, it's all kind of done for you, and it's really unfortunate, and it's kind of, it's kind of dulled your senses into what excitement is, and you having to play a game properly, and a, you have a bomber almost crash into you and stuff. <laughs> so we ended up capping this out and winning. But I just wanted to show you some of you guys this this gameplay because this is what I really enjoy about War Thunder, and I hope you too. Thanks for watching. See you guys again next time.